In this video I want to reveal the scientific root cause of psoriasis, most common plaque psoriasis. Because only when we know the root cause we can cure psoriasis at the very root once and for all, instead of endlessly fighting, escaping, repeating or suppressing the symptoms with for example medication. Symptoms of psoriasis are raised often itchy red patches called plaques that occur occur most frequently on the knees, the lower back, the scalp and the elbows. Although medication might be helpful in a transitional period, I want to show you with a logical animation based upon the latest scientific breakthrough, that if we keep using medication as the solution, without curing the actual root cause, even of genetic diseases, it will bring us further away from true and lasting disease remission. Once you get a diagnosis, believe the diagnosis, but don't believe the prognosis, because the prognosis is most likely based upon symptom treatment instead of cleansing and reversing the actual root cause of diseases. After having survived a life-threatening disease and after having been passionate for more than 30 years to discover what true cure or true disease remission means, it became my mission to wake up the world from the wrong direction that is imprinted, conditioned and advertised everywhere. I want you to be able to know and solve the problem at the very root instead, even for genetic diseases like psoriasis. And do you want to know the real reason why you are having psoriasis? By watching this video, your insight in the real cause of psoriasis is about to change for you. And as I mentioned earlier, only when we know what the real cause is, we can heal or cure the root and therefore automatically liberate ourselves from every other symptom too. Now to end the root of the problem together with all its symptoms once and for all and therefore to shine the light onto our dark psoriasis or onto our dark symptoms, I came up with a fundamental animation to show you. Imagine this is our body, our means of transportation and imagine this is our brain, our thinking or our mind. Imagine this heart represents our feelings, our emotions or our energy in motion. May I presume that we interpret everything with our five senses? Sooner or later, we start creating a victim story in our mind in relation to what happened to us. And our victim stories create unstoppable, stressful, fearful, analyzing thoughts. And because of our fearful victim thoughts, our body gets into survival mode and produces fight and flight chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline. Out of fear, our body starts to resist or starts to block all energy, emotion or emotions or feelings in our body. Our body literally cramps. Blockage or resistance of our natural energy emotion out of fear feels like and is called pain. And this way we accumulate small and or big blockages of our energy, what we also call traumas. Now none of us, none of us want to feel that trauma or pain, so we build a shiny wall of distractions and pretending around it. When for example a dog would break loose and would chase you, you would get a short shot of fight and flight chemicals to get a rush of energy to run and survive. But after a few minutes or hours, your body gets back into homeostasis or balance. But when we are living in this closed up fearful victim story experience loop for too long, we are constantly injected with those biochemicals, so our body becomes addicted to our fight and flight chemicals, because at least they give us a short shot of energy that we become familiar with. And that is also the reason why we are addicted to thrillers, to adrenaline sports, to danger, uh, to negativity in the news, to judging, gossip, horror movies, etc because they inject us with our fight and flight chemicals that give us a short shot or rush of energy that we are longing for since we are closed up from our own feelings. Out of fear to feel our unsolved emotions, 
we also become materialists, which means we use time, people and materialistic things as objects or bandages to distract ourselves with. And that's why we never have time, because we constantly need to be busy to be distracted from our unsolved pain out of fear. Because of this biochemical imbalance for too long, caused by our blockage and continuous fight and flight chemicals, together with possible environmental toxins from air or food, our immune system goes down. And we are conditioned to believe that our inherited genes create diseases. But scientists have discovered that it is not our genes that create diseases, but that it is our own biochemical, physical and emotional reaction to our environment that switches on certain genes in our body that create diseases. Our disease symptoms aren't just a tasteless joke that life throws at us. Our disease symptoms are actually our very valuable helping warning signals to warn us that we have been closed up and have been heading in the wrong unnatural direction away from ourselves for way too long. Now, when we keep being unconscious of the wrong direction away from our own nature, we might only choose to suppress the symptoms with medication or with building an even thicker wall of control, addicting distractions and pretending without making a U-turn. When we stay unconsciously a closed up puppet of our fearful victim story and our disease warning symptoms, we create dominant or covert victim behavior just to reaffirm our victim story and our addiction to our fight and flight chemicals in our body. So we literally use our problems, judging people, our ex, our boss, drama or our victim reality as an unconscious means to react to, to get our addictive biochemical victim shot. We need the bad job or the poor relationship or even disease, because we become addicted to the life of suffering. When our energy level is dropping because we are closed up, we automatically will start looking for drama, an image of what happened to us years ago, our ex or whatever, to react to, so that we get our next shot of energy through our fight and flight chemicals. And this way we create and recreate victim experiences and disease symptoms matching our victim story. If we would repeat this cycle once or twice, it, would, it wouldn't keep us hardwired, programmed and, and powerless in our closed up victim reality because the circuit would fade away again. But in our brain, this cycle isn't repeated once or twice. In our brain, this cycle has been fired and wired circuits for decades, which has hardwired, conditioned and programmed us to keep being trapped in the same victim, disease, suffering cycle for way too long. Now, in this hardwired cycle, we have lost our free will and became a puppet of our programmed suffering. We actually mastered how to suffer, but we have no idea how to liberate ourselves. Now, when we stay unconscious, it will be impossible to change from victim to freedom or to go from disease to spontaneous remission. Not even with the best health techniques or medication in the world. Unless, unless we become conscious and cleanse ourselves from the very root up. Becoming conscious about the fact that we are our own creator and that it is our own choice to stay a fear-based victim of our circumstances is the first step. Going from the old unconscious victim self to the liberated self is a neurological, a biological, a chemical, a hormonal and a genetic birth of the liberated self. 
And this multi-level birth is true natural remission from every disease symptom you may have and will prevent disease symptoms in other forms. And I have experienced myself that my life-threatening disease was rigged in my own favor to make me wake up and take a 180 degree U-turn to cleanse myself from every disease symptom from the very root up. So I could ex actually experience my liberated, authentic, natural, healthy self again. Now, when you look at this uh, vicious, imprisoned victim reality, you see that deprogramming, rewiring, liberation or remission, or our good intentions or New Year's resolutions can not be accomplished on the level of our analytical thinking or with positive thinking techniques. Because if we stop with our victim pattern, then we don't get our addictive shots anymore and we will start craving for them until we say positive thinking doesn't work and we restart our victim cycle from the past. What needs to be done is we really need to flush out our unsolved layers of pain or traumas from the very root up and both physically and mentally. And the great news about flushing out the very root cause is that you don't have to relive, suppress or have to keep talking about your past in order to liberate yourself completely. Only flushing out will do. So no more fear to feel unsolved pain can exist. So no more fight and flight chemicals will constantly be injected in our body. And so no more disease genes will be switched on or disease symptoms in other forms will be produced to warn us from the unhealthy wrong direction. So no more medication, no more victim behavior, no more victim experiences, no more victim story, so no more unstoppable, stressful, fearful, analyzing thoughts will be necessary anymore. So no more hardwired circuits in our brain and body can keep you trapped in the same cycle of suffering anymore. You see that every different disease or disease symptom originates at the same root. Every disease originates at our own victim reality that makes us react in resistance to our environment and it is our resisting reaction to our environment that injects us with fight and flight chemicals and which knocks our biology our biochemistry and our immune system out of balance and it is our resistance or our blockage in our body that makes our body hurt and just like when someone would squeeze or block your blood flow that it will hurt now, it is scientifically proven that when we keep repeating this cycle of resistance for too long, we actually switch on certain genes that cause diseases. Now, when we continue this cycle, we become so familiar with struggle and with disease that it becomes our identity. And it is also perfectly normal, we even may find it scary to let go of our disease and struggle identity because that's the only thing we actually know. And sometimes we even uh, may rather defend our disease or struggle identity and reject or judge or even fight real solutions rather than to solve the root cause within ourselves. And that for once and for all. Now, the good news is that there is a way to flush out the unsolved fear, the unsolved pain, together with its corresponding uh, disease symptoms, uh, blockages and biochemical imbalance. And do you know what the great thing is about flushing out the root cause? That you don't have to relive, reopen unsolved pain. So you don't have to suppress or experience it ever again. Only flushing out the root cause once and for all is enough. Now, the insight in how disease is created and to wake up from the fact that it is not our environment, but our own emotional, our physical, our biochemical reaction to our environment that switches on certain disease genes is very valuable in and the number one requirement towards 
spontaneous natural disease remissions. Knowing that we have certain genes that we have inherited that can cause diseases can be very scary. But knowing that they won't be switched on when we don't switch them on by reacting to our environment helps to reclaim our power from being a powerless victim. Now, if you are interested in natural scientific based disease remissions and in getting rid of the unsolved pain, the unsolved fear and the disease symptoms from the very inside out, uh, instead of uh, fighting, escaping or repeating or suppressing valuable disease warning signals with for example medication, I've created three more valuable videos for you that built upon this video that you're gonna love. The first video is about how to immediately get past the symptom of acute fear, especially helpful when you have been diagnosed uh, with any kind of disease. Now, the second video is a logical proof that also you can actually flush out or deprogram every disease symptom, uh, even from genetic diseases uh, from the very root up. So together with the unsolved pain and fear once and for all, and the third video is about the one thing spontaneous disease remissions all have in common and how to make it a part of you too. Now click the watch more link here in the upper right corner uh, at the end of uh, this video or in the description below. So I can send you the three videos. If you like this inside out approach instead of endlessly fighting, uh, escaping or repeating the symptoms, uh, please give it a thumbs up and share this wake up message with your friends and the world. Uh, please let me know in the comment box below what this video does to you. Uh, thanks in advance. Click the watch more video button here right now and I will see you in the next videos.